Six, the Minnesota State Senate is set to take up a vote on the free school and breakfast bill this week. The bill previously cleared the House early last month. KIMT News 3's Alec Lasham spoke with one of Rochester State Senators about the upcoming vote. And Alec, when are lawmakers expected to vote on it? Well, Teller State Senator Liz Bolden says a vote should happen sometime next week and if passed would put the cost of school meals on the government's tab for the next two years. In total, the state of Minnesota would pay roughly $388 million in the next two years for free meals. Families in Rochester pay roughly $12 a week right now for their kids to eat lunch. Rochester's Channel 1 Regional Food Bank Executive Director says the bill would allow more kids who experience food insecurity to get a school lunch. That's because the bill would eliminate federal income requirements currently needed for free and reduced lunch. Rochester State Senator uh, Or Bolden says she is looking forward to the bill's vote. I think, you know, feeding kids is exactly what we should be doing. I think ensuring that every uh, kiddo in Minnesota gets a breakfast and a lunch um, is win-win. We know that hungry kids don't learn. And so, um, you know, taking that worry off the plate, no pun intended, um, is, is exactly what we should do. Now she says the bill does have a component to it that the House bill did not have. That amendment makes sure schools with students in need does, do not lose federal funding because free and reduced lunch was a metric for it. She says the bill could either go back to the House for another vote or to a conference committee.